There's a big bubble in my front brake hose. See that? I'll get a little closer for you. That can be a big, big problem. So I'm gonna replace this hose. The first thing I did was soak this fitting in WD-40 because it's very important to get this thing out without stripping anything. So I'm gonna give that a try. The most important part is getting this fitting loose. And it's a 12 millimeter fitting, so I used a 12 millimeter line wrench. I already got it loose off camera, so now it's nice and loose, and I'm gonna leave it like that, and then I'm gonna focus on the caliper bolt. Now the next thing I wanna do is make sure that I can get the line off of the caliper. So I'm gonna see if I can break this bolt free. This is 11 millimeters, and I got a socket on it. And that came free right away. And at this point, you can see brake fluid starting to drip into my drain pan, which I was clever enough to put under the car before I started. Now I just finished removing this fitting. And now the fitting on the hard line is all the way out of the rubber hose. The clip that holds the hose in place is really stubborn. But I'm using some channel lock pliers and hopefully I can get it out. Now I'll use my 11 millimeter gear wrench to loosen the bolt and get the line out of the caliper. And now this old hose should come right out. Let's take a closer look at that bubble. It's really bad and really ugly and probably really dangerous. Now I'll use some brake cleaner to clean off the bracket. And then I'll wipe it down with some paper toweling just to get a little bit more grime off of it. This is the new brake hose that I got from AutoZone and I got another one from Advanced Auto Parts because neither store had two in stock. And the way this works is the top of the hose is keyed and that fits into the bracket and clips in place so that when you tighten the fitting into there, the hose doesn't spin. And then at the other end, there's what's called a banjo fitting, or at least I think it's called a banjo fitting. And what comes with the new hose are these two compression washers. They're made out of copper. One goes on the bolt, and the other goes on the other side of the fitting, and then you bolt that onto the caliper, which we'll do in a couple of minutes, or in terms of the video, a couple of seconds. I'm working in really tight quarters, so I'm not gonna show you the whole process of sliding the hose into the bracket, but I will show you the process of pushing the clamp back in place. I've made sure that the mounting surface on the caliper is really clean and the bolt's clean. So I put one crush washer on the bolt. I'm gonna put the other one on the other side of the bolt and then carefully, carefully thread the bolt inside to make sure that it doesn't strip. Next, I've started the fitting by hand. If it doesn't go in by hand, then you got the threads crossed. So try again. But don't put a wrench on it until you've got it thoroughly seated by hand. Now I finish tightening it with the line wrench. I don't want to tighten it too tight, but I want to make sure there's no leaks. And I'll check for leaks later during the bleeding process. And now I'm going to tighten the bolt on the caliper. Again, you don't want to over tighten it, but you want to crush the crush washers and you'll check for leaks later during the bleeding process. And speaking of the bleeding process, it's late, the lighting is bad, and so I'm going to skip that part. You're going to have to find another video on YouTube about how to bleed brakes. But now we have a nice new supple brake hose that's going to be a lot safer than this old bubbled out one and it costs $12 and took about 15 minutes to install. Thanks for watching.